Hi. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Nevermotion, the Kinect, to control uh, a character face animation. In this scene, I have this, this mesh here, which has been uh, rigged using joints. A very simple rig, just three joints. And uh, you can see how just rotating this joint here is animating the head. So let's zero out this. And of course we're going to connect our face rotation that the Kinect can of course see to this joint. Every time I have to set up something uh, like this, I prefer to create a null item receiving the Kinect inputs. Um, so let's do that. I'm going to, to create a null called um, head rotation. Okay, let's bring it up like here. Okay, so I can see it from from the camera. Here it is, and I, now I can open the motion options panel and. From the modifiers, add Virtual Studio Trait. Let me repeat the operation so you can see it. Virtual Studio Trait is the, should be the last one. Now, if we open the Studio panel here, we can see that a new channel has been added, and it's at the motion head rotation, which is the name of our item here. And we can double click on it and open the relative node editor. So here we can see several inputs, the position, rotation and scale inputs of our item. From the item info group we can now add a device node. Here it is. And here from manager name you can select any of the devices you can use with, with uh, Virtual Studio. Uh, in this case, of course, we want to use the Kinect for Windows. And then we have to select our Kinect. Of course, you can have more than one Kinect, so you have to specify uh, which one you want to use. So Kinect A. Now you can see all the available outputs uh, for this node, for this device. So if we take a look at the nodes, we can see uh, all these outputs are relative uh, to the skeleton and then we have the channels relative to the face the face expressions and of course uh, the rotation here we have skeleton, skeleton zero face pose rotation we're going to connect this channel to the rotation of the null now let, let me minimize this and you can see that the null is somehow following the rotation of my head. Now we can open the motion panel after selecting the joint we want to uh, animate. We can open the motion option panel. From the, from the controllers and limits panel, we can select rotation here and select as rotation item for this joint, the null head rotation. Then we have, of course, to activate the same as item control for the heading, pitch, and bank. So now you can see something is happening, and it's not exactly what we want. Let me activate some smoothing here. You can see that we have different uh, rotation. That's because the orientation of the joint is different than the null. So let's take a look at the axis here. We can see the bank is like that here. On the null, the bank is in a different, uh, it's a re oriented in a different way. Same for uh, the heading, the red one here. They are uh, practically, practically inverted. So what we can do is to just tell the motion options uh, same as item 
to consider this and so make the heading follow the bank and the bank follow the heading so now as you can see we're going better because the heading is following the page is working and the bank is working as well but they are somehow working in a in the opposite way I would like see I if I bank on the right she banks on the left if I rotate on the heading on one side she goes uh, on the opposite side this is pretty easy to correct we just have to multiply the value here for minus one so let's do that so this should fix the bank now we're banking in the same direction and here so even the the heading now is fixed so now the head is following the movements on my head pretty closely of course we uh, we should take a look at something very important which is the smoothing uh, value here if we set it at zero the head will tend to follow my head but we can notice some jittering we can set this really high and get a very smooth and fluid movement but if I move my head really really fast you can see that uh, we go easily out of sync something in the middle like four or five is going to to work pretty well we have some presets here the default Just pretty smooth. I'm completely unfiltered, which is very responsive, but we have some jittering. We have the somewhat <laughs> somewhat latent preset. And a very smooth one. Of course you can try out this uh, yourself to see which one is working better for you. Now let's see how we can connect. Uh, and the morphs to the Kinect channel so we can use the expression that the Kinect can recognize to animate the expression of our character. If we go on Google and make a research using Kinect facial as keywords, the first link, the face tracking Microsoft link, can be really useful because here we can find what we need those uh, are this is the list of the expression expression facial expression that the Kinect can actually recognize we have uh, the upper lip razor with the relative values here so zero neutral covering teeth one showing teeth fully minus one maximal possible pushed down lip and here we are jaw lower so zero close one fully open minus one closed like zero in this case so this is a, a very useful description of what is available and the relative values there is of course uh, a code here AU0 AU1 AU stands for for animation unit and with the same this is the same name we find among the channels available in the Kinect node so let's start connecting the jaw lower so we can open uh, the mouth of the character uh, of course uh, I created some morphs here for the face well this model has been created by Corrado Virgili and he made morphs of course um, so uh, we have the jaw lower here AU1. Okay, so we can open the mouth. So let's select the, the mesh here and press P to open the object properties panel. We can click on morph mixer to add morph mixer. I really want uh, I really want the slider range to go from zero to one hundred and of course we have animation unit one here the jaw lower we can test it 
And clicking on E on the envelope button here is opening the graph editor uh, with the relative animal of channel selected. From the modifiers tab, we should add Virtual Studio thread exactly uh, the way we've done for the null, but of course we're not doing that from the motion panel, but from the graph editor. From envelopes, that's that's the way you should uh, use to connect uh, connect channels to uh, to an envelope. Double click, and then the studio here should open. Um, here it is, our channel, our animal channel. Double click, and of course now we can add. Kinect device again. So Kinect for Windows and Kinect A. And here you can find the outputs. So what we have to do now is to let's check again the this this document. So we have to use the animation unit one here to open the job. Let's do that. Your disk, skeleton zero, unit one, value. So now, of course, when I open my mouth, the uh, mesh is following the endomorph. Let's see it with the Kinect device open. Lighting is not perfect, so. We can have some problems of synchronization, but you know we can change things a little bit uh, about the values. So I don't need this anymore. And graph editor can be closed. And let's try something. Uh, I want to uh, add a multiply node here. So we can multiply any value coming from the connect by two. This is going to enhance, of course, the endomorph. Uh, something you may notice is that the mouth never closes, even if my mouth is closed. So something else we can do is check the value with my mouth closed. Okay, and add a subtract note. Probably subtracting something like 0 0.2 is going to keep the mouth closed. Let's try different values. Hmm, this is working quite fine. So this is... Uh, um, what I show you, it's another way to connect something to the Kinect. Uh, this time we have connected an envelope, the envelope related to um, uh, an endomorph. And of course you can use the same method to connect all the endomorphs you have in your model to the Kinect channels. Um, my advice is to check the alien face demo you can find the never motion content so you can uh, better see how you can tweak uh, the values and how to connect uh, this different uh, envelope to to the endomorph okay so this is all for now and see you in the next video bye